Good evening. It is October 5th, Saturday, 2024. Here, our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Chris Garcia here. It's going to be an interesting one today. <clears throat> so I'm going to go over some stuff. Basically, who are you going to vote for in Norwalk? Who are you voting for? For Norwalk Lamarada Unified School District Board Member. You have, this way, here we go, myself. Or you have over here to that side. Mr. Rios, current president of the board, and myself, upset father, trying to get in. Uh, I think the choices are, are pretty clear. So I want to go ahead and go over some stuff as we're getting closer to the end of, of uh, the campaigning and close to the election. Uh, mailers went out. So I got mine right here. I'm sure some of you have gotten yours. We're going to go over this. Um, I've sent mine out, and uh, they look like this. You may have gotten one of these in the mail. It's uh, English and Spanish. Uh, I guess you could kind of see the uh, size difference in these. And what's the significance of this? Well, these ones here are much more expensive than these ones here. These ones have your address on them. It costs more to do that. This one does not. <clears throat> It's quite significant. These ones here, you're looking at about 1800 for all of our District 3 area. And these ones here, you're looking at closer to $4,000. Um, the difference between the two, I am funding my whole campaign as of right now. I haven't gotten any donations. I hadn't asked for any. Um, I'm going to leave it, leave it open for that if people want to. Uh, my phone number on here is my Zell number, and you can Zell me, and just don't give me more than $99, and I'll be very happy. Because if you give me more than that, then I have to report who you are and put all that information in. If you want to do that, you can Zell me money of this, and I'll be very grateful, and I'll use it for campaign purposes. And when the campaign's over, if there's any left over, I will use that uh, in some form or way uh, for, for the kids in the school, for the schools. Um, I'll use it for... For, it'll serve a purpose for the children of the schools, okay? Um, so I just want to let you know that these ones are the more expensive ones. It would have been nice to have gotten these, but I can't afford to do all that. And this one is actually uh, by the teachers' union. The teachers' union is the one who did that. So I'm just kind of going to go over the significance of things here. You need to pay attention. I hope you're hearing this right now. Be hearing it better now um so basically what i've been talking about is this here these uh mailers that have gone out i spent 1800 of my own money on this guy and the teachers union spent approximately four thousand dollars or so around there on those so they're endorsing him which i'm not sure as to why and let's kind of let's get into that why why are they endorsing him? What do, what do I have to say that would make that not a good idea? Okay. Oh, now it doesn't want to switch over. See, I don't have my tech guy here today, so I'm doing this on my own. There we go. So you should be able to see this <clears throat> on the screen here. We have... Norwalk High Volunteer Track Coach Arrested in Alleged Off-Campus Sexual Assaults of Two Female Students. That is in our district. Okay, uh, A lot of the stuff I didn't even know about, you have to look into it, try to find it. Uh, and, and here we go. It's this guy here. I'm very curious as if, to, if they let him back in since he's out on bail. I wonder if they let him back into the school. I guess we have to find that out. Right, this is stuff they won't talk about. You won't learn about this stuff from from uh, this guy right here. He's not going to tell you about this stuff going on, and he probably won't even comment on any of that. He'll give you a no comment. Okay. Oh, look at this gentleman right here. Not so much of a gentleman. Popular youth sports coach convicted of molesting student. Isn't that something? That's August first, twenty twenty four. So. This guy was involved in all kinds of different schools and different locations. Uh, from my understanding, this is the guy that was also another one from Norwalk High. 
So if you look this guy up, uh, I believe this is the, um, I believe this guy is the cheerleading coach, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the Norwalk Patriot. This is our uh, our news uh, newspaper. But he was charged with sexual assault. Didn't happen on campus. But this guy's working for the district. So now we got two stories, right? We got two stories. But here's the here's the kicker. There it is. Look at this guy. Okay. This guy. This guy is a cause of a school district faces lawsuit for negligence after Norwalk teacher's sexual abuse conviction. So this guy had some allegations come against him in 2017. Okay, He was taken out for approximately a year or so. And then he was let back in. He was let back in to, to teach uh, roughly about a year later. Okay, Now... Why is that significant? Most of the board members currently weren't on the board at the time. All right. But this guy, he was on the board in 2020. So in 2020, he was on the board. They, they began a, another investigation on this guy in 2022. Now, he should have been relieved of duty immediately, but he wasn't. And he should have never been that back, but he was. And he should have been relieved a uh, second time around. They didn't do it. So apparently he did it to more children. And that's why the lawsuit, well, that's why the, the negligence tag right there. So my question is, if that was your child that that happened to, right? And, and in 2020, this guy was on the board and he's currently the president of the board. Would you vote for this guy? Would you vote for him knowing that he could have done something about this guy? He could have said, hey, this guy's got to go. We can't have him in our schools. This is the stuff that pisses me off. And it should piss you off as a parent. Like, it's disgusting that these type of things are going on. I've already done another video about different abuse scandals that are going on within different schools. This was at an elementary school. And it's just, it's, it's just disgusting. It's frustrating. Um, the whole board should be ashamed of themselves right now. I mean, this, this, even a lot of those board members who weren't here uh, when this all took place, he was, he was, he's the president of the board. Why aren't the other board members asking for this guy's resignation? Why aren't they doing it? What is it that they have to hide? That's what I want to know. That's the question. What are they hiding or what is it that he has on them that they're not asking, calling for his resignation, demanding it, in fact? I just, if I was on the board and I knew there was a board member who had a guy who was, who was alleged to have had sexual misconduct with children, he wouldn't be there. Even if the, the union could get mad all the way. I said, you know what? He's not going to be with children. Worst case scenario, which I, I say it's worst case. He shouldn't have been there, right? You take him, you put him in an admin position away from children completely. So you're not, you're not dealing with children. You could deal with parents. And you take him out of the classroom immediately. That's what you do. And then once the investigation runs its course, then you take it from there, right? Like a real investigator. I, I would never put it back with children. I just never would. Even if they say, oh, there's, these are false allegations. We don't say, you know what? That's two. I'm done. I, I can't with you. You know? The guy got 30 to life. Like, come on. Oh, I, I just, I'll just get really pissed off. I keep going on about this. It, that, that stuff, I have children. So it bothers me to no end, to no end, okay? So this is the flyer. This is the flyer I was showing you right now, okay? I got mine in the mail. Of course, he's going to send me one. Good move. So, so this is him, Jose Rios, right? His wife is the mayor of Norwalk. They are a political machine. They got, all, they got backing. They have PACs that send money. This, you don't even get paid for this position, but they have a pact out there that's funded by um, by these construction or development companies, and uh, and they, they pour money into them. Why? Why would they pour money into this guy? He has a real estate license. Why would? Why is the school board so important to them? That's the question I, I'd like to have answered. Th those are questions that that parents want to know. And this guy doesn't answer any of those questions. 
right? It's too bad we don't debate. Because if we were to debate, I'd mop the floor with this guy because I'd ask him all these questions and he wouldn't be able to answer them. He should resign. There should be some major pressure on this guy to resign and not even be on the board. So he's got, you know, he's got his family. He has, he's got them right here, the family, the whole bit. All his, uh, his kids graduated through this district. Um, his, he has grandchildren, apparently, that come, come to the schools in this district. Uh, I don't know. For me personally, I, I don't know how he could live with himself knowing that this, this guy was in there and then these other ones that have been popping up lately. It's, uh, the, other, the first two that I showed you, th those are very recent. And he's the president of the board and this is going on. And you know what happens when things like that keep keep happening? There's no accountability, no real accountability. What, they ha what happens is they'll get rid of a teacher, but they won't talk about it and they'll sweep it under the rug. There's no shame. There's no. Not it's just, let's not talk about it. That way it doesn't make the district look bad. When you have something happen, you need to address it immediately. Talk to the media. Let them know, hey, this happened. This is what we did to address it. So that it and then this is what we're doing to make sure these type of things won't happen again. They don't do any of that. They, no comment. That's what they do. Okay? That's his leadership. That's who's there now. So all of you in Norwalk who have been getting my signs and getting my, my door hanger flyers, and you're watching these videos, you're seeing this, ask yourself this question. Do you, if it was your child that was molested by that pig, would you want to leave this man who was there who could have kicked that guy out of the district? Would you still vote for him? Are you still going to vote for this guy? Like, think about those poor, those poor children. I mean, to me, it's awful. It's awful. Look what he has here. Equity for all students. I would really like him to qualify this. What does that mean, equity for all students? What exactly does that mean? I think he should come out and he should say what that means, right? Uh, October 16th, we're going to have this... Uh, Chamber of Commerce is going to have this little forum where they're going to ask us questions and we have to give our answers, right? You know, they might be asking about what programs, funding, stuff like that, questions like that, right? I'm very curious as to if, he's, if there's going to be any questions about this because I'm certainly bringing it up. I am certainly going to bring it up. It's not a debate forum, but there's going to be probably several of us up on the forum and, and we're going to get the same questions to us. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up. I'm bringing it up. So... You know, I'm going to bring up all this stuff. Student safety. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to make sure nothing happens like this again? And just to make sure he doesn't steal my idea, because I've already publicly said this, and, I, and those of you who have gone door to door and have heard me, my solution to this is to put cameras in the classroom. Now, I've already been told online, oh, the, the union's going to come after you. The teacher's union that's supporting him. Right? They're going to come after. They, they won't allow that. It'll be dead on arrival. No, it won't. No, it won't. Oh, privacy for the students. What are you talking about? Privacy for the students. That's what they've been saying. The students have to have their privacy. Um, it's a public school. You want privacy? Go to a private school. This is public school. So I think if it's public school, then they should be open to the public. We should be able to see it. Now, do I think everybody should see what goes on in the classroom? No. But if your child is in there, you should have, there should be a live feed they could create a link, only give it to the parents, and the parents are able to see what's going on in the classroom. I think that's fair. I think they should do that. I mean, when these kids get out of school, they're going to be out in public where there's going to be cameras everywhere they go. Where they work, there's going to be cameras. The certain areas, you don't have to have it. Like the teacher's lunchroom, they could go into their lunchroom, and, and no kids will be allowed in there. Areas where kids are, are not allowed, uh, and, and adults are, or teachers are on their own doing their own thing, Teacher's lounge, restrooms, no cameras, right? But there should be cameras in the classrooms and outside along the school grounds so we can see what goes on. God forbid something worse happens, we can have footage of exactly what took place. And if there's something bad that happens, uh, law enforcement can put plans together to, to eliminate these type of things from happening again. Uh, it, it just makes too much sense to put cameras in. People said, oh, where are you going to get the money from that? Oh, we can start by cutting the administrators how much they get paid. Because superintendent gets three hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars a year, so you cut that down to about one seventy-five, and you have a lot of money right there uh, to go towards cameras. The, the assistant superintendent is making over two hundred thousand. You cut hers down to like one twenty-five, one fifty. 
there's some extra money there. A couple hundred grand. Cameras up, right? I think that's good. He has strategic enrollment solutions, okay? He's been there three and a half years. Enrollment ain't going nowhere. It's going down. Oh, it's COVID. COVID, so it's not COVID's fault. Part of it, a small part of it, people are leaving California. Yes, that's a small part of it. But what's the bigger problem? The bigger problem is, one, the curriculum, right? Parents don't want their kids learning nonsense. Well, all these different genders, all these different pronouns, all that. No one wants that stuff. Nobody likes it. None of the parents like it. I go door to door. They, I talk to the parents. Nobody likes it. And they're, they're afraid to say anything about it. That's, that's the culture we live in today. I'm not afraid. There's, there's two sexes. It's male and female. Gender, two sexes, male and female. Basic biology, right? What are we trying to teach them? Everything that's wrong in the classroom has to do with a sexual nature. It's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Collaborative teamwork. Oh, absolutely collaborative teamwork. For who? For builders? For builders? Is that why you're closing schools now? Huh? Is that why Cesar Chavez is getting closed? So that you can, uh, you can have a lucrative uh, uh, place to build, apartment complexes or something else, and you could have a builder come in and maybe give you a backdoor deal? Is that going on? Is stuff like that going on? I'm very curious. I'm very, very curious about that. Improve communication and outreach. Huh? Improve communication. The very thing that they don't do. Communicate to the, to the parents what's going on in these schools. They don't tell you. They don't tell them anything. Right? This is what he has. This is what they... The teachers union knows better than this. Right? Now, that t- I'll say this. A lot of the teachers don't agree with this bull crap. Now, they won't say it because they're afraid to lose their job. Why are they... Why do they have to be afraid to speak their mind about anything? This is a free country. We have freedom of speech. But yeah, they're afraid. Th- this... Under his leadership. Okay? I've been getting bombarded on Facebook and all these forums for uh, Norwalk Interactive Community and all these different uh, Norwalk ones that I'm in, right? People bombard me. There's about seven, seven to ten consistent ones that are just loud, squeaky, always, you know, saying stuff to me. Particularly the main reason, the main reason, it's no other reason that I'm a man of faith. I believe in God. And I want the Bible back in school. That's why I get bombarded. They hate God so much. It doesn't matter if I have good ideals with anything else. That one thing is the reason that they just flip out. They go crazy. Okay. The the hatred for God is real. And they'll come out and say, oh, we don't hate God. We just don't think he should be in school. Nonsense. They hate God. It's the only reason. Because if they loved God, they would know that God would want his word in school. Uh, Besides the point, I want it there for historical value. Right. World history. It has a lot of historical events in it. Uh, and then for U.S. history, right, We ha- our laws come from the book of Leviticus, the book of Numbers, uh, actually Deuteronomy is probably the main one, Leviticus and Deuteronomy. Uh, that's where they actually get our laws from. So it's like, why are we not talking about this? It has a lot of historical value, okay? Um, but nonetheless, I always have to end up being on the defensive when it comes to this subject. I'm not doing that here. Look at this. Look at what he has. they have written here. I'm sure he had input on this. I'd be shocked if he didn't. Um, and even if he didn't, equity for all students, student safety, does the teacher union, with everything that's gone on in just the last couple months, think that the students are safe and that he, he's going to keep them safe? He's had three and a half years to do that. I bet the children from that, from that pig who's in jail right now that bet their parents wouldn't say that there's a good student safety here. There was another guy caught recently over there masturbating in front of one of the schools. No comment. No comment from this dude. No comment. That's, that's who you're voting for, Norwalk. If you vote for Rios, that's who you're voting for. You're going to vote for him just because you like his wife. Because you think she's doing a good job as mayor and whatnot. This is, see, I'm going against two. I'm not just going against him. He's, he's writing the coattail of his wife's name. And so because she's the mayor of Norwalk, he thinks he's going to have easy sailing. Okay? I've made it as hard as I could for him to win this election. I'm doing this for the parents. Parents' rights. Keep in mind, a lot of you parents know that the state is trying to push. Well, they just passed a law and, and Newsom went and signed it into law that the 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 teachers could keep secrets from the parents. In fact, they have to keep secrets from the parents when it comes to the children and their gender. If they decide to want to change their gender, and they don't, they don't go and tell the, uh, they don't 
they tell the teacher about it, the teacher is, is mandated not to tell the parent. Okay, so they keep the secret. So let's say, let's say the teacher goes and they end up, the teacher ends up uh, getting them into a program where they get this gender affirming care and they, they give them uh, medications or whatever. Parents don't know about it. Child goes home. Uh, let's say a week later, child gets sick. Take the child to emergency. They take the child in. Uh, doctor asks parent, uh, does, what medications is he or she on? And, well, none. Perfectly fine. Sick out of nowhere. So doctor prescribes certain medications. They can't mix with this gender-affirming care medications. Child dies. Who's responsible for that? Who's taking the blame for that? Right? It's absolutely ridiculous. Forget, put, put the morality portion of that aside. Just for liability purposes, it's absolutely ridiculous what's happening. And parents don't like this stuff. They're tired of it. So all this nonsense right here, student safety, what a joke, right? Strategic enrollment solutions. I'll tell you right now, you bring the Bible back into school, the schools will be packed immediately. They will be packed out because now you're going to have a uh, majority of, of this community is either Catholic or Christian, probably about 80 to 90 percent of them. Um, and even other religions would like to have the morals taught by Jesus in, in, in the schools. Uh, but I'm talking about just from a historical uh, reference guide, you know, um, that would immediately bring people back. Then you have homeschoolers that, oh, the Bible is in school. Yeah, let's put them in school. And then you have people who, who are paying a lot of money to put their kids in private school. Might have, who, who are probably struggling might say, you know what, let me reconsider. Let me put them in the public school. They're teaching the Bible. So, you know, that's got to be nice. So they bring them back. Immediately, the whole enrollment issue goes away. And maybe we could even open up Cesar Chavez back instead of trying to knock it down and, you know, trying to make some money off of it. Um, again, if you're, getting, if you're getting overflow with enrollment, that's going to end all the money issues that the district currently has. Now, we have to weed out all the perverts because you're going to keep getting lawsuits if that stuff keeps happening. Uh, and if I'm in there, we're going to do our best to end all that. Um, like I said, cameras in classrooms, that'll end that part. Because if it happens, we'll see it. And, you know, someone could, if it happened live, someone could pick up the phone, call 911, catch them in the act. I get so mad with that topic. But again, together we achieve, together we succeed. That's amazing because he doesn't do anything together. The only thing he does with the community is he goes out and he does PR stunts. So those of you, oh, the backpacks, this and that. I, they say he uses his own money. How do you know he's using his own money? How do you know that? He's probably using campaign funds. I, I would venture to say that. And even if he is using his own money, okay, that's not, what a nice gesture, right? Meanwhile, you have all this other crap happening to children related to safety, okay? The hell with the backpack. Let's, let's get the kids safe, all right? You, he could show up to all the events he wants. You could put me on the board. I don't have to show up to one meeting. If those kids are safe, that's all that matters. If the parents are notified about things that are going on in the school and what the, the state and the county are trying to push down the throat of our children, I, I think we're good. So, yeah, this guy, I'm sorry. He, he's really bad for Norwalk La Mirada. He's really bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want him in any school district. Not one. So... You know, I've heard a lot of things. I haven't even told you about half the things I've heard, okay? I have a document that was given to me about stuff. Maybe he's involved, maybe not, but definitely other school board members are. And it is absolutely amazing to me, the things that go on within these school boards. It, it's sad and ridiculous. And all the while, kids are left behind. Parents, parents are unnotified. They don't know what's happening. Uh, parents are busy. They got a lives. That they have work. They got to take care of their children financially. Their food. They need food for them, clothing for them, and it's hard. It's hard to be able to be involved the way parents want to. Now, parents, we do need to get more involved. We do need that, and we we is if I get on the board, we have to find ways to make it easier for you to do that as well. You know, maybe have Zoom meetings or so, just something to keep you informed with things that are going on. I put my phone number out there on all of my flyers, my business cards, everything. It has my phone number. I get on the board. You guys will be able to call me, 
and you can hold me accountable. If something goes wrong, I'm not going to run away from it. If it's something that's really bad, I'm, I'm going to address it. And I'm going to apologize and I'm going to say, you know what? This is not what we're about. And we're going to fix whatever that problem is. Uh, but, but not to talk to you guys, not to let you know what's happening. That's on us. Mark my words. I get on this board. I will still go door to door when there's certain events or whatever. I can't reach everybody. But I'll do my best and I'll still have my YouTube channel and I'll let you go. Hey, this and this is going on. If you guys can make it, it'd be great to see you there. Some of you I've met face to face already. Uh, this has got to be something that you feel this is good. Everything I'm telling you and I'm doing, I'm showing you, you know it's a good thing. Have you heard from this guy? Has he knocked on your door? He might after this video comes out. He might start doing it. He should. And then you could ask him all these questions like, what the heck is really going on in this district? What have you done to Norwalk? So I'll leave you with that, you know, before I get really upset and hyped up. And I know this video went a little bit longer, but I think this needed to be talked about and needed to be shared because they're not going to give me a debate with him. So this is the best I can do. If he wants to reply to this. He wants to have an interview debate with me on, on this YouTube channel face to face. Open invitation. Mr. Rios, you want to come over and have a debate with me or just talk about these issues? Open door. Come on in. I won't even go crazy on you. We'll just talk it out and let everybody see and you can address these issues that I brought up today. Okay, for the rest of you, God bless. You have a good one. And remember, Fogue Garcia.